हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्रवेगा एजुकेशन इन दिस प्लेलिस्ट वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट द बेसिक ऑफ ग्रुप थ्योरी एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ सिमेट्री सो एवरी डे वी विल जस्ट ट्राई टू गिव ट्राई टू अपलोड सम बेसिक वीडियो वेयर यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द यूज ऑफ ग्रुप थ्योरी एंड सिमेट्रीज इन द फिजिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स क्यों जरूरी है ग्रुप थ्योरी को पढ़ना एज ए फिजिक्स स्टूडेंट and mainly for the theoretical physics student or experimental physics students because group theory will tell you all about the symmetries aur agar aapko symmetry se ye word se aapko thodi ghabrahat ho rahi hai then i can just talk about the conservation law in the nature of in the nature we have n number of conservation law the at the very basic level of physics we have learned all about conservation of momentum conservation of angular momentum conservation of energy and all these thing and as we grow and we have seen different type of system there are new conservation law are there new invariant law are there so and these invariant law will follow some type of symmetry and once it is following some type of symmetry we how we can use it in a mathematical form how we can club all these thing in a mathematical form is the actual uh, relevance of group theory so it is very important that we have to learn group theory at least at the very basic level such that you can use it or group theory is not only the topic which is formulated by the human being it is actually directly connected to the nature so we have basically group theory and symmetry and the main purpose is just understanding the different conservation law so what we have you can see in the nature you have different type of symmetry and what is meaning of beautiful what is as a human mind we always appreciate those thing which are symmetric and if i am talking about symmetric in the very layman long language what i can talk i can talk about the repetition of something look at this particular picture this particular picture is all about the some plant picture and you can see this is very beautiful why because it has some following some symmetry if it is just going to following some symmetry then how we can represent it in a mathematical form this is all about the idea of group theory similarly you can have some architect so this is just from the nature this is just from the art so you have some architect when you are going to see some monument and something else you will just tell wow wow what a beautiful thing why this wow factor is coming why taj mahal is so beautiful why the some architect is so beautiful but some are ordinary this is all about from the symmetry look at look at some architect and you will once you will see this thing you will find wow this is really beautiful so this is generally from the nature for architect purpose and even you can find that if something is following some beautiful symmetry then they are more stable also the stability is also going to lead with the group theory or some particular symmetry and this symmetry can be explained by group theory so this are the two picture i have deliberately putting here because you can have some basic relevance of group theory now we have all this thing you have i think you have learned the particle physics and you have this type of uh, arrangement of your particles according to some rule and this rule is governed by something sometime su2 sometime so3 sometime su3 so a special unitary of the order of group 3 that is su3 so this type of arrangement you are doing it so what is the rule behind that what is mathematics behind that this is all about the role of group theory but in a physics the mainly we are have we are just following these four model the first model is standard model in the standard model we are just going to use for uh, in the particle physics you can see that su3 symmetry is for meson su2 symmetry for the spin particle and all this thing gauge theory is a very important thing where you have basically the quantum electrodynamics or uh, special uh, or basically relativistic electrodynamics you have gauge theory whenever you have electromagnetic field then you can use gauge theory and lorentzian group lorentzian group is 
just uh, all about that uh, space and time coordinate mikonsky to understanding the mikonsky space uh, understanding the lorentz invariant then this is uh, obviously in the special theory of or uh, in a special uh, theory this thing and you have your poincare group poincare group is a very fundamental group where you can just try to understand the conservation of energy the conservation of momentum the conservation of angular momentum and obviously the conservation of uh, momentum through the center of mass so you can find that there are 10 different type of symmetries one is conservation of energy that is symmetry in a time the conservation of and three conservation of momentum is in a symmetry in a space and three conservation of angular momentum symmetry in a angular symmetry in a angular space and you have three conservation of uh, momentum for your basically symmetry in a center of momentum of center of mass so these all thing can be initiate with a very fundamental thing and that thing is all about the group theory so in each and every day we will just try to give some basic lecture where we will just try to understand what is the basic definition of group and then we will apply it and this whole playlist is dedicated towards the physics student so how this thing you any physics student can use all this playlist to understand the group theory in the next uh, video we will just try to explain what is the definition of group and how we can play with this particular definition so let uh, we continue into this particular uh, playlist you will surely benefit thank you